This video is part two on graph isomorphisms, and I just want to say um, a couple of quick things. Mainly this video will deal with unlabeled graphs. So you may recall in the last video we talked about how graphs are isomorphic if essentially you can relabel the vertices of one to make the two graphs equal. And for a more official definition of what isomorphism actually means, you can see page 56 of the textbook. Um, <clears throat> but what happens if you don't even have any labels to begin with on your graphs? So we just want to do a couple of quick examples here. So we'll start with this one. So circle the isomorphic graphs. So we're trying to determine um, which, if any of these, are isomorphic. Well, these don't have any labels, so it's not like you're going to be relabeling any of the vertices to make them equal. Um, in fact, you just get to choose the labels on both graphs, and the same idea as before holds. But I also want to mention a couple of other things um, to help you sort of make a determination about when graphs are isomorphic. And the first is that graphs are only going to be isomorphic if they have the same degree sequence. Okay, so it makes sense, right? Like if this one, if one of the graphs has a vertex of degree 3 and one of the graphs doesn't have a vertex of degree 3, well then there's no way they're going to be isomorphic. So let's just go ahead and write um, the degree sequence for all of these. Okay, so this is degree 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2, right? So the degree sequence is just going to be a bunch of 2's. Right, and similarly, you can check this is all going to be degree 2. So here's the degree sequence for this. And this is all going to be degree 2. Okay, now, just because they have the same degree sequence doesn't mean that they are isomorphic. That's just sort of the first test, the first thing you can look at. So you may want to think for a second about, you may want to pause the video and think about whether or not any of these are isomorphic. Okay, if you paused, great. If not, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and talk about them. So essentially what we want to do is be able to label the vertices of any of these graphs to make them exactly equal. Um, to any of the other graphs. So for example, um, let's just choose, we'll call this V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. And is there a way to label these with V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 so that we get the same graph? Okay, so let's just try. So we'll say this one is V1. Well, if you look over here, the edges in this graph are v1, v2, and v1, v5. So v2 and v5 are the neighbors of v1 in the first graph. So that means we're going to need v2 and v5 to be the neighbors in this graph. Um, so maybe things are getting a little confusing here. I'm going to erase all these degrees so that we can just focus on the vertices. Um, so that maybe that will understand. Our pictures are just getting a little bit busy here, so I'm going to erase all of these now that we have the degree sequences. Okay, so back to our conversation. V1, the neighbors are V2 and V5. Okay, well, let's look at V2. The neighbors are supposed to be V1 and V3. Well, we've got V1. That means this has to be V3. And for V5, the neighbors are V1 and V4, which means that this would have to be V4. And does that give us all the right edges? Let's see. Okay, so V3, V4, yep. V4, V5, yes. V2, V3, yes. Okay, so you can see that these two are going to be isomorphic. Okay, so we can start by circling these two. They are isomorphic. And then the question is whether or not this one is. Okay, so again, we don't have any labels, so we can just choose one arbitrarily, any of the vertices of degree 2, because they're, these are all sort of the same. Um, we can try as V1. Um, and then again, the neighbors of V1 are supposed to be V2 and V5. And then you can sort of see here that what's going to happen if you continue the process like we did for this one. Again, we're just going to get a 5 cycle, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, back to 1. So all of these are just a 5 cycle. The entire graph is a 5 cycle, and they're all isomorphic. Okay, so now let's look at one that's maybe slightly more complicated, this example down here. Okay, so again, we want to think about the degree sequence first. Okay, so 1, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2. 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1. 1, 4, 
two, three, two, two. Okay, so if we make the degree sequences, right, we'll get three, 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 two, two, one. And then here we'll get three, 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 two, two, one. And here we get four, three, two, 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 one. Okay, so even though these graphs look like it's possible they could be the same graphs, right, we know immediately because this one has the wrong degree sequence, this one's going to be out. Okay, this one's not going to be isomorphic. It doesn't match the degrees of the other two. Okay, but these two still could be isomorphic. Okay, so again, what we're looking for is any sort of identifying characteristics um, where we can sort of force the graph to be something specific. Okay, so let me erase and, and to sort of ma make them match up. So let me erase these degrees again um, to sort of keep our pictures from getting too cluttered. <clears throat> okay, well ideally you want to start with something um, that is unique about the graph. So for example, each of these graphs only has one vertex of degree 1. Okay, so maybe let's call that V1. Well, if these are the same, if they have any chance of being the same, this also has to be V1 because there's only one degree one vertex in each of these. Okay, so let's call this neighbor V2, which means that this neighbor has to be V2. Okay, so now we've got, this is going to two other vertices, so let's try V3 and V4. So this goes to two other vertices, V3 and V4. Okay, so now here are sort of is our first option, right? So we don't know whether this should be V3 or this should be V4 or this should be V3 and this should be V4. So we're just going to try one out. Okay, so so far so good. And then V3 goes to some other unlabeled vertex. We'll call that V5. So here V3 goes to some other labeled vertex. We'll call that V5. And then V4 and V5 share an unlabeled vertex V6 and then again here V4 and V5 share an unlabeled vertex V6. Now you can actually check this. The formal way to check this if these are isomorphic would be to list all the edges and if all the edges match exactly then you have two isomorphic graphs. So I'm going to leave that up to you. You can just check this yourself. Check to make sure Uh, the edge sets match exactly. And if they do, then you have isomorphic graphs. And if they don't, if they're off by even a single edge, then they are not. But I'll go ahead and tell you, you can check for yourself, but in this case, they are isomorphic. So something else to point out is, right, <clears throat> in both of these examples, the graphs can look quite different. Right, so these two look very different even though they're both just a five cycle. And these two look very different even though they are isomorphic. So don't really rely on, oh, this picture looks like this other picture. You need to actually be checking the edge sets. Um, so like V1, V2 is an edge here. V1, V2 is an edge here. V3, V5 is an edge here. V3, V5 is an edge here. Okay, so that's what you're actually wanting to check. So that wraps up um, the last things I wanted to mention about isomorphism.